Okay, hello students. Uh, this meeting is about the Crank Nicholson scheme and I have prepared some slides for you. So let us go through the slides. I believe that you can see my screen. So uh, the title uh, uh, of today's topic is Crank Nicholson Method and uh, the course uh, title is Numerical Solution of Partial Differential Equations. So this is just a quick review of the heat equation and how many conditions do we need to close the system here three times derivatives with first one time with respect to time two times with respect to space so we have three conditions in time and in space okay so uh, you can see here that we have here um, in time and in space the conditions uh, initially you have initially means at time t is equal to zero sine phi x and at uh, x is equal to zero and at x is equal to one you have the temperature equal to zero okay now you have here uh, next let us go to the scheme and let us uh, see uh, we all know that we can uh, distinguish between the uh, equations the partial differential equations based on their behavior so we say that these are elliptic if b square minus 4 ac is less than zero equal to zero then parabolic greater than zero then hyperbolic okay so today uh, we will discuss the crank nicholson method so let us go to the crank nicholson method uh, here is a quick review of the explicit method the ftcs method and it is a uh, quite um, easy method but the point is about the stability because there is a restriction on the step sizes on the space and on the time that is why we try to go for an implicit method right so now we have here a heat equation right and we want to solve it using uh, one by one using an explicit method and then an implicit method explicit methods we have already done so let us jump to the crank nicholson method what is the meaning of crank nicholson method we have here uh, crank nicholson method and uh, you can see that the method involves solving a tri diagonal system of linear equations the method is stable no magnification of error we can use large h large k compared to the explicit method okay so now we are free we can select any step size for space any step size for time using the crank nicholson method so this is the advantage of crank nicholson method now we have here the same uh, procedure uh, the first step is to divide the space and divide the time into patches or into small subintervals of width for space we are using h for time we are using k for time we are differentiating it once with respect to time and we are using the backward scheme backward means that only time will vary space will be at pause and then the uh, double derivative with respect to space this is centered we can see here so you are going in the backward, in the center, at the point, at the subject point, and at the forward point. Okay, now we will substitute these two formula in the heat equation. We will simplify it, and then we will see how the crank nicholson scheme looks like. So now here is the heat equation. I will substitute the equations on both sides, and I will see that what will happen i will simplify it so can you see the most important thing here is that it is t minus k and x and here you are using t t and t in time so you are using uh, the information at time t and you want to find the information at t minus k this is a question so now you can see here let us understand it with the help of the schematic what is happening here we will write a schematic and uh, uh, we will sketch this picture and we will see that here you are talking about the point uh, where like you have 
no information about the temperature or about the diffusion and here you are using these as the inputs and what if you do not have information at these points as well what will you do then you will make a matrix take the inverse of the matrix and you will solve it okay so now let us see how it will work so uh, this is a very basic formula for the scheme and today i will discuss two types of franklin colson methods the first one where we have a very simple formula at the um, uh, you can see let's say that this t is um, kth point and this is k minus one at point so we will see that later i will show you during this lecture that we can even improve the scheme by splitting this formula into two parts but currently let us uh, focus on this scheme and apply it on a problem okay so uh, we have the partial differential equation we need the conditions and we need to write this scheme and we need the number of iterations in time the number of iterations in space or the patches in space so if we want to do it manually by hand then we will keep it very small okay so now you have an equation here this is the simplified version of the crank nicholson scheme now what is this lambda lambda is k by h square okay next you have you can even write uh, the scheme as minus lambda u i minus one j i j i plus one j i j minus one okay and now you will substitute the values here for different i's okay so what will happen and you will fix j is equal to one first substitute j is equal to one in this formula and then start changing the values for i so j is one in this scheme and you will put i is equal to one and then i is equal to two then two minus one one then i is equal to three three minus one two and then four minus one three and so on now you can transform this system in the form of a matrix so i can see here that how many equations did i have i had one two three four equations and i had Mm, a matrix so you can see 0 1 1 1 2 1 okay 1 1 2 1 3 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 can you see here students that 4 1 4 1 3 1 3 1 and then 2 1 2 1 so these are giving you information about the diagonals okay so you can see here that you will write a tri-diagonal matrix okay and for u11 u21 u31 u41 and when you multiply it you will go back to this system okay so this is an art of uh, writing the system of equations to be matrix form and i believe you can do it very easily and what has happened on the uh, left hand right hand side you will take the uh, take some parts to the right hand side and how will it look like you will have u10 and u40 the boundaries you will take it to the right hand side okay and then you will have a vector here on the right hand side this is very important u10 plus lambda u01 so let us go back and see uh, u u10 is already on the right hand side and what is lambda u01 lambda u01 is this part okay so we will take the extra terms uh, for the first row and for the last row to the left hand right hand side okay now you have when u10 u20 u30 u40 are the initial temperatures so you can obtain these with the help of the initial conditions okay and this will be given to you this value and these two values will be given to you next the solution of the tri diagonal system produces the temperature values and at time t is equal to t naught plus k now what is happening here actually students now please focus on a very important thing in the crank nicholson scheme you will find the temperature or the diffusion at different time steps how let me show you here can you see here 
here you have t is equal to 0, t is equal to 0 0.025, t is equal to 0 0.05, 0 0.075, and 0.1. So you will move in time, and for every time, you will have a matrix. Okay. So what will happen when you put j is equal to 1, you will get a system. Then when you put uh, j is equal to 2, you will again get a system. And from this system, you will simplify this system and you will obtain u12, u22, u32, u42. Okay, so I suggest that you solve it manually. Okay, so now we will solve this problem. These are the conditions using crank nicholson scheme. And we have the formula ready. So lambda is given to you. What is lambda? K by H square. Now what is K in this formula? It is given to you. What is H in this formula? It is given to you. You will simply substitute it in the formula for lambda and you will uh, substitute it in the crank nicholson scheme. Okay, now this is the simplified version of crank nicholson scheme. First you will put J is equal to 1 here and then you will change the I and how many times will you change the i here you can see the interval is from 0 to 1 and the step size is 0 0.25 so how many points are you expecting here students four patches and five points okay so here you can see five points two points are at the boundaries given so three points for three points you will have three equations zero one two one two three actually okay zero will be given to you so what will you do students you will here simplify this system you will make a tri-diagonal matrix here and you will solve it okay now you will solve the matrix here for these u11 u21 and u31 all these three values you can obtain from the inverse of the matrix it is very easy if it is a three cross three match system uh, but when you take it to higher level you will need to use software such as such as matlab Atom, mathematica Mathul, and so on so we will learn it using matlab now um, you will next go to the next time level. Again, you will repeat the process. This is the uh, previous time level. You have just uh, got the matrix form, inverse of the matrix, and you have got U11, U21, U31. Next, you will go to the next time level, and so on. And this way, you will move uh, on the uh, points, on the mesh. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, you will obtain U12, U22, U32, and so on. Okay, and this way you will complete the process and you can see that how many iterations are there, three for each time step and four times, so 12 iterations. Okay, so now this is a very easy example. Next, I will take you in the next video. I will show you a difficult technique, but a more accurate technique. Okay, so let me just take you to uh, the next part.